Hi, I'm Sharia Shobhan. In this video, I'll show you how you can store the results of Linux commands in variables. You know, Bash works with other commands of your Linux system. Every command of your Linux system is available to Bash. You can do anything with the output and input of these commands. That's what makes Bash so powerful. In this video, I'll demonstrate a feature of Bash called command substitution. What it does is, it takes the output of a Linux command and puts it in a bash variable that we can access later. We can also parse the output to do something useful and many more. Like I said, there's no limit of what bash can do because bash has access to everything. This is my text editor. I'm going to declare a variable ls result. In this variable, I want to store the result of ls command. So for a bash command substitution, I'll use tilde tilde and inside the tildes, I can write whatever command I want to execute. In my case, it's ls. Now I'm going to use echo to write something on my screen. And another echo to write the contents of ls results variable. Make sure you include uh, that inside double quotes. Now I'm going to run it on my terminal. You can see that my files are, and there's a list of all the files that are in my current directory. If I use ls command, you can see that these are the files that are listed. So that's one way to do it. There are two syntax for bash command substitution. One I showed you with tilde, and the other is with dollar and parentheses. I'm going to talk about that now. So. Instead of saying tilde, uh, the command that you want to execute, tilde, I can say dollar parentheses. Inside the parentheses, you can write the command that you want to execute. In my case, that's ls. Now I'm going to save that. And on my terminal, I'm going to try to run it. And you can see that the results are same. So that's it about bash command substitution. Please subscribe my channel if you like what I do. And thank you for watching.